kisses. Uh, before we begin, though, I wanted to uh, um, have one of the artists who's part of this amazing uh, project that's being shown in here, uh, this month and next month, uh, just want to say a few words about that to kind of put it all in context and her name is Carson McGree, so we're going to pick up and say a few words. So the reason that we're here is for my friend 
T.L. Martin's new book, and this is very exciting. Just looking at the uh, at the blurb is kind of exciting. I don't know if you know this, but my partner Tony's favorite poet in the universe is Dorian Mock, so congrats on getting a little blurb from her. And um, I don't remember I don't remember where or how we met anymore. Maybe when you get up here, you can tell them that. But I know that I know that. We met at a poetry picnic at the combined Washington and uh, Portland, or the Oregon. Yeah, so there was an annual Washington, Oregon poetry picnic that has kind of gone on hiatus, which is partly my fault for a couple of years, but and it's a really fun event. So happy to happy to do this. Happy to, to help her out with Faith this book. And it looks like a beautiful book. And I'm happy that I know that some of you traveled quite a ways to be here. So I really do appreciate it. And if you've never been um, to Vancouver before, we just uh, we want to welcome you here. We've got a lot of great writers and artists here. We're really proud of how things have grown, especially over the last say three to five years. When I got here in 2003, there were plenty of talented people. They just didn't really know each other and really talk to each other. And that's really um, changed, and we've done what we could within the literary community to try to get people to uh, together. Um, so I asked DL if it would be okay if I would read one of her poems. This is um, uh, Ghost Town Poetry, which is the name of the open mic that I host, and uh, DL has been a featured reader there, and so we invited everybody who's ever read there to contribute to the anthology, and this is the first of two. We just released the second one. So anyway, DL was in our first anthology, and I asked if it would be okay for me to read one of her poems, and she gave me permission. So this is called How For Of Me. And did this come out of the Hal reading? Is that what it was? So when Hal, uh, Allen Ginsberg's poem, Hal, had its 50th anniversary, we um, organized a, um, a reading at one of the galleries downtown here, and I arranged the poem for 14 voices, and one of those voices was GL. So she wrote this, this poem. I have howled at night alone like a dog, hollow and wild, I have coo whimpered the dying song of a pigeon caught in a dog's mouth. My heart is a double-throated singer, duet of myself. Killer howl, killed cry, I stalk myself through these mad streets where passing cars toss their headlights in puddles. Like discarded cigarettes, cherry burning their reflections set my feet on fire. Acid clouds darken with chemical rain, fence in, out the divided moon. My shadow slashes at the side of building gray as Hiroshima ash. The best minds of my generation were destroyed by greed and doting parents, and I didn't see it. I was busy learning not to look, not to look. Starving in our mother's kitchens, clothed only in our father's prejudices. Starving, cynical, naked. We dragged ourselves through alleys and days, looking for nothing. Anger is justice defiled, but we never knew her innocence. Justice was turning tricks before we were born. We danced the faggot streets, knew everything, expected nothing, and were never surprised, burning adolescent tallow off our quick-lit wits, saving nothing for tomorrow. Who knew we would survive? Starry nights, so many starry nights, seen through madhouse windows, constellations sorted in sail, yesterday's failed suicide attempt, stars falling like accusations, beautiful in their falling, bella morte, fireworks, light show, stars in death. Beautiful, beautiful. The machinery of night grinds on, gears slip, noticing us not at all. Let's do it.